With proposed amendments to Guyana's elections laws, currently out for public review and contribution, Attorney General Anil Nandlal on Tuesday night said his chambers is working on additional changes, which will specifically target voter registration. Speaking during his Tuesday issues in the news commentary aired on his Facebook page, the Attorney General explained that these additional revisions to the law will be keen to address the removal of dead people from the existing voters list. Yes, you right. can't sure. address dead people voting because dead people cannot vote. <laughs> I can't craft a law or preside over the drafting of a law that says that dead people cannot vote. I mean, what are you laughing stock? So you have to decipher nonsense from sense and discard nonsense in the nonsensical basket. I can't draft a law that says ghosts cannot vote because really physically they can't vote. According to the Attorney General, because of the long-running challenge to how registration must be done, he thought it was fitting to clarify existing laws on registration so as to remove contradictions. The AG said as it is right now, the law mandates a process of continuous registration, but he acknowledged calls by the political opposition for house-to-house -house registration. He gave a clear indication that the People's Progressive Party Civic PPPC government intends to support the continuous registration process, noting that the rival position exists because of the lack of clarity in the law. But because we never, I believe, clarify the law, you can find a lawyer disingenuously holding up provisions of an amended act that really speaks about a house or, or the semblance of a house to house process, though we have continuous cyclical registration, which contradicts. These contradictions are still in the law. Nanlal said while the clarifications will be piloted through amendments that will also see a process for cleansing the voters' list, there is nothing he can do to address the political rhetoric of dead voters. Whether the people live in America, they live in England, they live in Australia, or they live in Timbuktu, once they are Guyanese, they are 18 years of, over, of age and over, and they are registered to vote. They are entitled as a matter of constitutional right to vote. And that must be understood. The AG said the law is clear on who can vote at an election. It stipulates that you must be 18 years and older, a citizen of Guyana, and registered to vote. It doesn't make residency a criteria, and Nandlal doesn't seem inclined to change the law to include that. There is an August 2019 judgment by Chief Justice Acton, Roxon George, in which she ruled that while house-to-house -house registration is not unlawful and is constitutional, and that the data garnered from that registration exercise must be merged with the existing National Register of Registrant database. The interpretation is that once a person is registered, there is no law that allows for the person's name to be removed from the register, allowing for non-resident Guyanese to vote at elections once previously registered. Reporting for the newsroom, I am Isanella Patwell.